Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Regiments. The final battle to capture the airfield hopefully begins today as the West German forces are defending and the Soviets are attacking. Of course, throughout this campaign, we've had a lot of fun revisiting the wonderful playtest and uh, playing through again. Oh, man, I I'm, I'm so happy to have done this again. It is phenomenal. And uh, if you want to go ahead and download this one for yourself, again, remember... Playtest is available for everybody on Steam. Just search for it, uh, request access. You should be able to download and play this as well. Operation Firebird, in order to take this airfield, is going well. Look at all the artillery everywhere. All, <laughs> all these destroyed units on both sides. It's been a brutal fight, but we have made our goals uh, clear. And we have made gains in many areas on the map. On the left side, we'll be uh, pushing some BTRs to the left to capture that. We'll be uh, bringing some BTRs to the right side to capture additional supplies over here so that way we can rearm our helicopters and continue uh, supplying against enemy tanks with ATGMs. And additionally, we have ourselves some supply in the back that should be able to serve as a fob for our MI-24s that have been doing a great job of destroying them. Very good veterans now. They know what they're doing. Excellent. Well, if you want to see more of this and if you're excited for more Cold War games on the channel and also real-time strategy games, don't forget to smash that like button. Check out other games on the channel such as Warno, Broken Arrow, Men of War Assault Squad, and even War Game Red Dragon. Definitely worth a peek. Well, in order to uh, defend successfully against the airfield east and south, we're going to go ahead and put down some defenses to begin with. We can put down some strong points. In this case, we have four engineer supports. We can build one strong point to defend against enemy attacks. We can go ahead and put them uh, pretty much anywhere on the airfield or just behind our point. We're going to go ahead and probably make a, a point here, a strong point to hold the enemy back. And uh, that should be all we're able to get at this moment as we've spent a lot of our uh, acquisition points or our authority on replenishing units that have been battered through battle. Well, let's go ahead and get started then. We'll go ahead and uh, confirm our moves and uh, start uh, by... Actually, you know what we could do is one more thing is that we could go ahead and... Uh, well, it's a little too late now. We could have added more units to this defensive area here. But that's okay, actually. I'll save some of that for calling out more supply from the rear as soon as we capture some of these positions here. That'll be good to switch out with the choppers. Let's begin. All right, enemy counterattack is already spotted. Looks like uh, two to four platoons are involved in the counterattack at the airfield. So we'll go hold, uh, we're going to go ahead and hold and wait for them to attack the airfield. And then we will uh, go ahead and prepare our defenses and then counterattack after they fail to take the airfield. We've also got some Shilkas nearby. The enemy may try to use uh, A-10s. So we've got Shilkas lying in wait for enemy choppers or whatnot. And of course the uh, Americans have been uh, launching counterattacks and whatnot, and their forces are on the way too. So we'll go ahead and try to start capturing all this uh, supply. Juicy, juicy supply for our choppers. <clears throat> we'll generate uh, supply over time as well. We're gonna go ahead and bypass that enemy unit there. And we're gonna try to get into that town. Looks like enemy tanks have been spotted. We'll go ahead and get away from them. And as we capture this position here, Trying to stay away from that unit while we also capture. These uh, units here may take a little bit of damage, but... Looks like the enemy can no longer engage us. There we go. Excellent. All right, enemy counterattack has begun last night in this game. Amazing, by the way, with the uh, counterattack, which was incredible. Uh, defending against enemy counterattacks. And uh, also holding the line with illumination rounds was just quite the sight to see. So if you missed the previous episode, you need to go back and especially start back at the beginning as we continue to cover what is this, an absolute masterpiece here. Oh, unfortunately, they're Zone continuously capture. engaging us, but let's go ahead and pull back now. We'll pull back with our forces and we'll try to bypass here. We'll try to get our helicopters to come over and deal with those uh, tanks on the right, uh, left side of these units here. All right, choppers go ahead and engage. Looks to be no anti-aircraft units there. We'll go ahead and get out as we've captured that and secured supply for ourselves in the future. As long as we get that uh, captured by the end here. Zone lost. And we have our counterattack coming on the left side. We now see all those units there. Enemies push forward. 
There it is, their tanks moving very quickly, 2A forest and such. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and move to the left. Looks like the enemy's moving to counterattack us at the farm. Zone capture. We're gonna go ahead and pull back from that. Let's turn tail and run. Enemy 2A4 is destroyed. Enemy artillery seems to be coming off map. ATGMs being fired from the choppers and or rockets as well. Beating back that first German counterattack. All right, very good. Let's get the engineers back in the line. We'll go ahead and recapture that line on the left side. Get that BTR out of there. All right, all we need to do is uh, defend here a little bit. That's all we're going to do. Wait for the Germans to try to attack a little bit more so we can thin out their forces. Choppers are almost replenished at 68%. Alright, tanks are coming from over on the left side. We'll need to block them. We're going to go ahead and bring up more infantry so we can secure the area. Excellent. All right, the chopper should be able to engage more of those tanks. We'll hold the left side. We've recaptured airfield south. And we're going to now push forward and see if we can go ahead and capture airfield uh, north. South is being recaptured. East is still in our hands. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can spot those enemy units. As long as they don't recapture the farm, we'll be all right. Oh, any uh, any aircraft fire. Ah, wonderful. A hit on an enemy uh, anti-aircraft gun. And artillery also firing at our choppers, too, as they stand still. Let's go ahead and uh, support our advancing units. All right, our tanks inside the airfield are doing a fantastic job of engaging. ATGMs are also firing. We've got entrenched German troops and good, some pretty good tanks there for the Germans. Let's go ahead and engage those headquarters number 2A4s. Very dangerous unit for us to engage. We'll bring up the supply trucks a little bit. MI-24Ps. Excellent. Hitting those vehicles very nicely. Now let's go ahead and hit these uh, Jaeger forces here. Excellent. So we'll be conducting a pincer move on this right side as soon as we split them down the middle here. The MP2s. We'll advance. Enemy vehicles advancing. Not sure what we're engaging here. Ah, infantry. All right, let's go ahead and engage those infantry. All right, more enemy units destroyed. Let's advance across the uh, field. T-64s fall back for supply. Give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. We got some units on the right side. Left side, two left side units. Contact. Choppers are out of ammunition. We're actually going to have them go back. That's an anti aircraft weapon on the left side. Tanks are going to have to fall back. Looks like we have a few units here. We'll cover the retreat of the T-64s. We'll go up there to cover those units.
very good. All right, anti-aircraft weapon is nothing against the BMP-2s. That roll in there is a missile launcher. But the, uh, I believe, 30 millimeter of the BMP-2, may, actually, maybe a 20 millimeter, should uh, be able to destroy that. Beautiful artillery strikes there. Stopping some of the enemy there. Continue to retreat a little bit with our tanks. Helicopters arriving in the rear for resupply, and BMPs will come up again. Yep, the MP2. Shilkos are firing now. Treat with those. Enemy forces there have been suppressed. And the positions in the rear of the airfield have been captured. We'll go ahead and push ourselves to the right. Looks like uh, M106s, some artillery here. Mortar rounds firing from those. Go ahead and have the BMP still engage. T-64s retreat. Shilkos are firing. Wonderful, by the way. Quad cannons on those. That could definitely provide some fire. Let's go ahead and engage those units there. What do we have? ATGMs and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and conserve our forces. So we're going to drop the, the hammer on those. Don't want to deal with Panzer Grenadiers for too long there. We'll retreat a little bit. And we'll have pain come down upon them. Very shortly. Right, we're going to try to conserve our forces for the initial or eventual defense of the area. Here comes the uh, missile down on top of those forces very shortly. All right, here we go. Excellent. Tactical ballistic missile destroying those forces. Oh, it looks like more forces on the way. Looks like a Gepard is there. Very uh, mean anti-aircraft gun mounted on the Leper 1 chassis. We're going to go ahead and have some more troops come to deal with that. We'll destroy all the annoying German artillery. Incredibly annoying. And we'll have our helicopters come back up to assist. BTRs will spot targets. Helicopter will engage them. BMP-2s are out of supply. No. Yes, they are. Main ordinance is too low, 7%. Enemy mortars destroyed. All right, we are closing the noose on the airfield. We are now getting ready for a full defense of this area. All right. We successfully pulled back to defend. BMPs are rearming from these trucks here, the supply vehicles rearming them. And they will have to retreat now as they're out of supply. Ooh, helicopters striking the Panzer twos. Ah, T-64 is getting veterans. One of the good positive side effects of always being in combat is eventually they will gain veterancy. Hmm, looks like most of the enemy force has been taken out. Alright, let's get supply vehicles up again. Oh, we got some enemies here in the trees. Oh, great. A massive enemy counterattack. We are going to have to fall back again. Four to six plus one to three. Wow. Yes. Zone capture. It is time to pull back. No telling where they could be coming from. Total domination achieved. Excellent. 
stage is concluded. Whoa, Napalm. Objective completed. Wow, an interesting early wrap-up from capturing everything. We didn't have to deal with the enemy counterattack, saving countless lives. T-64B1s and B1Vs destroying Leopard 2A4s and 2A1s up here, and another 2A4. Uh, fantastic number of kills. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Tactical strike there, killing uh, some Flak Panzer Gepards. And Martyr 1A2s, excellent. Well, that was surprising. All right, well, now we have to defend against the enemy counterattacks. That was a pretty good quick capture of the area. We were lucky about that one, but now, if we do not hold this, I think it's going to be impossible. By turn 8 or phase 8, the enemy will have so many M1 Abrams and M2 Bradleys and just troops and tanks of all sorts of types that, including M60s, they're just going to overrun us and no amount of TADUs or whatnot are, are going to stop them. Even though now we have access to some wonderful TADUs and we can finally stop the enemy's uh, attacks with some heavy armor, some really good armor. The TADU, a fantastic main battle tank, is a very good tank against uh, enemy movement. So we're also going to use the star of the show, the MI-24P. We're going to try to keep them alive. And uh, just as we had before, kind of use them as a way to scout and then stop the enemy's uh, attacks. Now, if we lose the airfield west or north, that's going to be okay. I'm going to try to make this area here around this hill our very important, um, I guess you could say, base of operations or I don't know, uh, kind of a, a strong point in which we're going to use against the enemy if they try to continuously attack, which they will. They will definitely come our way. So we're going to try to uh, lock down some defenses here because this provides movement towards uh, airfield south and the valley and the warehouses. And then we're going to block this area as it pretty much covers everything here. So that'll be a good position for us to defend. We'll take losses. We'll fall back. But primarily, we're going to switch out forces with the... Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I want Shilkas too because the enemy, the Americans now may have A-10s, and they're going to try to, you know what, actually, <laughs> I think I've, I've taken more damage and losses from A-10s dropping bombs on choppers than anything else, and also mortars, too, so mortars are going to be an absolute pain in the ass, so we're going to have to worry about that. We actually have some defenses now that we can utilize uh, in terms of, like, ATGMs, anti-tank emplacements, so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll put those out on the airfield and try to block enemy movements. I'm going to put them facing this way. Uh, because this is a nice big o open area and if the enemy happens to uh, get close we can clap them real quick with uh, with some really nice ATGMs. Now these are a little close but my hope is that um, the artillery won't really land that closely to them and I'm also going to try to deny the Americans open movement across the airfield with some barriers that the engineers will set up along these roads. So also kind of slow them down give the ATGMs time to fire that way and they'll be able to rotate 360 degrees to f uh, fire at targets behind them. So I'm also going to put a group here inside this uh, village to lock it down. There we go. We'll go ahead and have them dig in just outside BTR-70s. Actually, we'll put them at the roadway just to stop enemy attacks there and to keep an eye out for the enemy. We also want some supply trucks out for the choppers. So, uh, oh boy, we really barely have any left. Uh, do we have any supply vehicles anywhere? I don't see any, so I guess we'll have to wait a little while and build up some supply. The uh, combat engineers would be great units to have back here too. But what we really want to do is hold that hill, like I mentioned, so that way uh, when the Americans uh, do hopefully capture this area up here, we can counterattack. So it will, be, it will be something that we prepare for. We'll put some lighter units here on the left flank, uh, some tanks to watch the left flank. And we'll have the choppers essentially do patrols in the area to watch out for the enemy anytime they come around. There's going to be a lot of artillery, a lot of chaos, a lot of losses, and it's going to be a, a bad time. But we should be able to at least slow down the enemy for a while. And if we can, if we can keep them to only capturing two areas, keep in mind we only need to capture the uh, airfield, east, south, north, and the warehouses. So east, south north and the warehouses only things that have to be captured to hold the airfield we can lose airfield west but i'm going to try to recapture it at any time to even further delay them and set them back on their goals let's go ahead and continue to add stuff here if the enemy sees us at this hill which they will they're going to hit us with artillery and that's going to be bad news bears so let's go ahead and see if we can just at least litter this damn hilltop with 
ATGMs and main guns and troops that are just going to point in almost all directions. Let's begin. All right, the final battle. We do have we have to do this one. We do have until phase eight, but it's going to be so impossible that even after phase eight, the the Soviet military is just going to be like we're out, and uh, so even by phase eight, it's going to be bad times. All right, we are gaining supplies. We're going to hold for those choppers. Speaking of the choppers, let's go ahead and put them on a command group. And if we take any losses on the choppers, anything we lose now, we won't be able to replace no matter how well or how poor we do. So it's basically all in. Like, uh, any means necessary, victory is what we're after here, and not, not preserving our forces. That's just what, that's just the order. That's what we have to do. All right. Nine minutes, or 19 minutes, 13 seconds. For the next few minutes here, the enemy is going to build up their force and then attack. I'm going to also try to conserve as many points here for, like, the TBM strike and the artillery barrage as we can because that's going to be a really good uh, enemy attack that uh, we can stop with that. A big enemy attack can be stopped with that. It's going to be very helpful. All right, hopefully the uh, valley is bringing in supply. Hotel, Kilo, North Airfield are all bringing in supply for us. We'll have to probably get to about 150 before we call in anything for the... Uh, before we call anything for the choppers. The choppers are fully armed, but they're pretty much the first thing to run out of ammunition when the fighting starts. My anticipation is the enemy is going to attack from here at Kilo first, and then here at Airfield West. As you can see, they can come in from the left flank, uh, the northern flank, and the right flank, basically, if we look at the airfield like this. But damn, do I love this game so much with the strategic uh, capturing and stuff and actually attacking important military targets that have importance rather than just generic uh, targets all over. All right, looks like we're actually getting attacked at the village first. ATGM's going out from the BMPs. TADUs are firing. Let them attack our units, that's fine. That is Bradley's and Humvee's, interesting. And the enemy smoking our position. How cute. That's adorable. Let's go ahead and launch artillery to stop them in their tracks. Or I guess in this case, the wheels with the Humvees. Oh, looks like they have Stinger missiles with them. Okay, we're going to have to watch out for those. I think they're too far from the Mi-24s to engage, but... All right, Bradleys are being hit. No, these are M113s. Bradleys are behind. Back there. And there we go with the artillery. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep it coming. Minimal losses on our side. Beautiful artillery. Look at that, man. Humvee's retreating. Bradley's falling through artillery. Those units were moving fast. Oh, those MI-24s are just like Tyson on a speed bag. Just ba 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 with those missiles. I can't believe it. That's crazy. All right, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Fall back. We'll go ahead and fall back and get supply. We can actually fly back here. We don't need supply vehicles to do it, but... We keep supply uh, vehicles at the airfield. That at least means that our um, helicopters can stay somewhere near the, the main line. All right, looks like the enemy is capturing Kilo. They destroyed our uh, friendly BTR-70s that are parked there. And now we're ready for that part of the operation. Things are kind of going in the opposite order of what I was expecting. I was expecting an attack here and then possibly here. But definitely here, too. I don't know. A everywhere. Everywhere. All right, we've got enemy tanks. All right, I'm listening for artillery. I can hear it. We want to definitely make sure we're not being hit. Kilo can be recaptured, worst case scenario. ATGMs are firing, beautiful. I don't think we need to resupply these units either. They're well dug in with plenty of ammunition so they can endlessly fire at enemy targets. So we got lucky there. I'm going to go ahead and switch those BMPs to attack here. TADUs to attack here. HQ units moving up. That could be our first sight of Abrams and their counterattack. All right, M113 assault engineers. There's some interesting M60s showing up. And that's got to be the Abrams right there. What, have they got Romulan cloaks on? I can barely see them there. Where's the artillery? I'm expecting an absolute rainstorm of artillery. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Nope, that's actually still the M60s. I thought the uh, HQ units would be M1s, but I guess not. Beautiful, nice side hit. Oh, they're still just hitting those light defenders. We still got 14 minutes, though. No time to get cocky. We're all right now. These ATGMs won't be able to assist us this far back, but it's kind of hard to find a good spot for them with the uh, airfield basically having a ring of hedgerows around it or bushes. So if anything enters the airfield itself, they should be able to attack it pretty much on this side here. So that does have that covered. The vehicles here inside the trees on the left side should cover here. And it looks like M113's in the forest. Looks like they'll capture Hotel and Kilo. But we'll uh, remain stealthy up here in the woods instead. 59 supply is all we've got. Uh, choppers have rearmed, that's why. The choppers are fully rearmed. We can recapture Hotel rather easily. Zone lost. So long as those units expose themselves, which they just did. Here comes oh, all of all fury and hell. Look at that. Look at the amount of fire coming out of that uh, that tree line. Wow. That M113, I just don't think it's going to make it. No, no, sir, it did not. No, sir. No shot, son. No shot. All right, well, now that we've cleared that out, I'm going to wait until somewhat later in the battle to counterattack, but hold on a second, a massive attack on the left side. Everything else was diversionary. This is the real stuff here. And there's more M60s. Lots of them, too. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and let the enemy try to take airfield west. Get the chopper over here ready to go. We'll stop the units in the south from attacking. Let's go ahead and have those T-64s bug out. They're going to retreat. Oh, damn, the artillery again. All right, let's have the BMP roll forward. Just get out of there. Don't worry about attack move. Just go, go, go. The artillery is the nightmare. All right, TADU you can attack on that. Oh, looks like they're... Already engaging regardless. Oh, an anti-aircraft unit. Excellent. All right, the T-64s were successful in retreating. Chopper's doing a good job. Wow, nice kills. All right, we have 111 supply. I'm going to bring that out. We, can, we have plenty of points to call those out. Keep them on the line as long as possible. Like a prank caller. Alright, good job neutralizing the forces there. I'm going to try to hide in the woods. Same here. I think we're okay. We'll have all the positions here momentarily. The enemy seems to be ignoring airfield west and might be going for airfield south. That's a uh, friendly unit there that's retreating. Alright, choppers just aren't going to be able to... Too much without supply there. The RM1K is essentially a BMP with a little, oh boy, artillery now in that position. A uh, little more oomph, let's say. A better capability against enemy units. Okay, we've captured the first position, second position. Airfield West will fall, but that's not one that we have to hold. But we will attempt to do so or counterattack it. Oh boy, here comes all the fun in the world. Yay. All right, we're going to call artillery down on those units. The Bradleys and or M113s are just parked there. Look at that. Artillery is going to be right on top of them. Hold, 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 hold. Hopefully they don't move. Oh, and it looks like uh, M113s as well. B BTRs are holding. Zone capture. Well, let's call those T-64s back up. Choppers, go ahead. All right, mortars on their position. They have to move now. Is that mortars on the BMPs? I think so. No.
All right, BMP2 is engaging. My 24 is engaging. Let's get the uh, supply a little closer. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that. Wow. Massive counterattack from the Americans on the airfield. Look at all that carnage. M60s. Bradleys. I think I saw M113s around there somewhere. ATGMs are firing. Apparently they can fire through here though, through the uh, A A10s. I'm not going to complain. A10 in the trees. Choppers are out of ammo again. The MP is holding the hill. Counterattack over here on the right flank. TA to use that now to ammo. Well, we have too many targets and not enough ammo. This is ridiculous. It should be that way for the Americans. All right, we got T 64s ready. Oh, MI 24s are just going to run out of supply. Wow, look at that. All right, all the vehicles on the right side are now in, in flame. BMP 1s are basically down to no ammo at all. They've still got 7%. They can still fight. Even though there's this red little triangle next to them to indicate that they're out of ammo, they've still got a little fight left. And honestly, I want to keep those units there because they are being protected by other tanks. And if those tanks happen to, uh, if the BMPs happen to spot other tanks, the uh, TADUs can help to engage. Oh, wait a minute. My 24 is being hit by artillery. Hold on, we gotta. All right, let's pull some stuff back here. Wait. Okay, there's a little bit more artillery. A little bit too much. That's got to be a little... I think those are just mortars, but I feel like they're like M10... Oh, boy. Actually, look at that. Abrams destroyed, baby. That is an incredible hit. All right, let's go ahead and retreat. Okay, TADUs. I'm going to call up our... Uh, Supply trucks again when we hit 100 supply. Although with the MI-24Ps there, I think uh, they're gobbling up some of the supply now. Yep, this is going to be a little while, but the MI-24Ps are top priority. All the units are just going to have to make do for a little bit. Luckily, the uh, BMPs travel with infantry too, so 7% doesn't always just mean like all total ammunition. Sometimes it's, it might just be the vehicles. I think the infantry could still fight, but with a lesser chance to do something against a tank. As you would imagine. Seven minutes remaining. Holy crap, we're holding all objectives. There's no way. Alright, I kind of want to call back the BMP-2s. There's a little lull in the action. Let's take back any units that are somewhat uh, damaged. Uh, I don't really want to move the TADUs, though. I think the supply should go to them. we got to get a supply truck up there for the TADUs, T-64s. That's where our fight's going to be. This hill right here is critical. And it looks like I uh, gambled right on that one. And luckily the Americans have come from pretty much every angle that that hill could engage from. And back here, up here, and uh, to a lesser extent this side. Everything over here. Those ATGMs uh, not being engaged by the enemy yet. I think these are... Um, I forget the name of these... Uh, <laughs> For a minute, I was trying to think of Katusha, but it's the, um, uh, boy, I already forgot the name of it. Something with a K. But anyway, you'll have to remind me down below. I, f I forget what those fire, but uh, Maliuka's one, and the better one is something with a K, I think. But we got about five minutes to go. We've got some supply coming in. We've got this town locked down. I feel like the Americans are going to go for that town again. Oh, I was wrong. Airfield West is now the tripwire in our defensive chain. No. Well, it looks like it's being captured, but there, there must be a unit there. Let's bring the choppers over. It could just be anything from like a... It could be just a Bradley. Right, let me go ahead and call out another group of BMPs. There might be a cooldown. There it is. Okay. 
Alright, we have 36 supplies still. 37 is really just trickling in. We need more supply. Five minutes remaining. Alright, with five minutes remaining, that's not enough time to really build up enough supplies. So I'm going to get what we got. 40 to the uh, TADUs up on the hill and any other u units that are there. Airfield West is like kind of falling, but no. I want to try to hold until the very last second, like about two minutes left to recapture Airfield West if it happens to fall. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little risky and do some peeking here. Where's our Shilka? Shilka, uh, it, it's gotten kills before, but it must not have gotten any from this round. I haven't seen American aircraft at all, although they've been using their damn uh, artillery almost like bombers, but much faster to call in a mortar round close range than it is to call in an A-10. Especially when, you know, your A-10s are parked on an enemy airfield. Oh yes, we now own A-10s. You'd think they would have uh, tried to destroy those, but I guess not. Alright, I'm going to go have go, go ahead and have the uh, BRM-1Ks move in. Alright, supplies on the way. Let's move fast to those. Uh, see so we can get on the road and move fast there. A lot of supply coming up now. Hopefully that helps out these tanks. We just need a little bit of ammo. This one down to about 27%, so one final little fight would be perfect there. I'm going to go ahead and fall back now with the uh, choppers. Is this all their fight? Three minutes, 50 seconds left. There's got to be one last big push of Abrams, Bradleys. There it is. Oh, F, there it is. Oh, I was, oh boy, was I on the money with that one. Oh, dear God. Oh God, fire everything. Oh my God. Oh dear God. The amount of capitalism coming down there. I could just hear a Walmart parking lot being constructed. The sounds of freedom. Oh, and is that a McDonald's they're adding? Oh my God. All right, we'll fall back boys. That ain't gonna be worth it. Oh my god, that missile, dude. That's going to destroy everything. The amount of destruction that we're about to see is going to be insane. It could wipe out these units down here, too. Oh my god, and indeed it did. Oh, but wait, what? Oh, A-10's coming in. Firing off flares, which means that they must be being shot at by the Shilka, or for whatever reason, took a hit from that... That missile was so explosive that it damaged the aircraft? Boy, I gotta slow down time. I need to call in some artillery, like, right yesterday. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the artillery here and here. On both sides. I'm gonna create a wall. What the hell was that? Oh! A bombing run on the choppers. And there it is. Bombing run on the choppers, just like I said. Shilko's firing off. This is great in slow motion. Three Shilko's firing at that A-10. It may actually destroy it. If they get another chance to fire it off. Oh, a missile going up and destroying an A-10. One destroyed. Who the hell fired a missile? I don't think we have a A-8 like that. Unless some of our emplacements have them. Wow. Oh, and he, he barely got out, man. Barely got out. All right, I'm going to call out artillery on these two positions here. To try to cut them off from advancing and to cut them off from retreating. Let's speed things back up again. Mort uh, mortar fire there, I think. Right, let's fall back. So my 24 P's firing as much as they can. All right, looks like the T-80s are all out of ammo. We're going to go ahead and uh, start a counterattack here with everything we've got. Everything we got. At least on this side. All right, artillery is being fired like crazy. Ooh, an improved Abrams right here. That's a pretty damn good unit. Okay, actually, I was going to retreat because of the mortars. All 
All right, minute 25, we're going to advance this way. We can lose Kilo, but I want to try to take the airfield. Okay, we're going to come down here and stop those guys. We've got about a minute left. Airfield south is being taken. All right, we got to damn the losses. If we do not take that airfield now, we will not be able to survive the next attack. There's no possible way. It is absolutely impossible. All right, we need to take airfield south. Everything we got needs to go over there. Okay, airfield south is being bombarded by mortars. All right, I fired the smoke rounds there. All right, we need to hold the warehouses. Check. Airfield east. Check. Airfield... Uh, north, Zone check. Capture. Airfield south, capture with nine seconds to spare. Stop those units. Don't let them get any closer. Oh my god, a point blank range battle. Holy crap. Alright, let's take a look at everything here. <sighs> Phase seven concluded. Very good. Let's see, phase seven. Oh my god. <laughs>